Hey guys, this is the fourth video in the series of videos to create and set up a character in Unreal Engine. In this video, I will show you how you can export and then subsequently import character meshes along with their morph targets into your Unreal Engine projects. So if you are wondering what are morph targets, they basically allow you to make changes to your character mesh on a real time basis you don't really need to export characters of different shapes and sizes if you have the requirement to show them like that in your game you can simply export a pretty basic template of your character and then you can export morph targets along with that character template and then later in your gaming level you can use blueprints to change the value of those morph targets to be able to modify your character mesh in many kind of different ways depending on the type of morph target which has been exported with the character i will be using the same project to demonstrate this example to use the morph targets and i would suggest you to watch the first three videos if you haven't already watched them of this video series to set up a character in unreal engine and if you think you already know about the first three parts and you only need to learn about morph targets then i think it should be pretty okay to directly watch this video but at any point of time if you think that you don't really understand how the um, you know clothing is set up or how the animation is working then you can simply um, go and watch the previous videos at any time you want so over here i have opened up daz studio which i will be using to export a character which we are using in the project and i have already loaded a genesis to male character and i am going to export a morph target while exporting this character and the morph target which i will be exporting is this one this bodybuilder target which basically when changed um, changes the appearance and shape of the character mesh so i will be exporting this target while exporting this character and then i will import it into unreal engine and then i will show you how you can uh, you know play around with the values of the morph target to see how the different values will prompt the unreal engine to modify the mesh of the character as well so let's do that you need to do the same things which you did in the past videos to export the character and that is to go to the file and then go to the export but before that you also need to copy the name of the morph target which you want to export with the character and you can do that by going to the this settings icon and then click on the parameter settings and then click the name and then copy it now go to the file and then export give any name to the character which you want to export this is kind of temporary for this project so i'm just going to give it a name test and then click on save now use the options which you have been already using from the previous videos and also don't forget to uh, check this morphs checkbox and then to export this bodybuilder morph target along with the character you need to click this button edit morph export rules and then you will need to add the morph which you want to export when you will click on this add button then a new entry will be added double click on the name and then paste the name which you copied now you need to change the value of the action click on this and then instead of bake you need to export it so that we will be able to change it from unreal engine and then click on accept click on accept again and then the character will be exported now the next thing which I will do is I will go to the folder where it is exported and I'm just going to remove all the textures of the character because we don't really need them so let's just do that and this will also allow us to import the character into Unreal Engine faster than the usual because there are no textures present so our process will be a little bit faster now the next thing which I will do is I will create a folder in the project directory and then let's just name it test now I'm going to import the character click on the import button and then select the test character now one thing you need to keep in mind is that you need to check this import morph targets checkbox when you are importing morph targets along with your character meshes if this is unchecked then your morph targets will not be imported 
and then click on the import all so the character is imported and I'm just going to close this window I'm now going to open the mesh of this character which we have just imported so you can see on the right side in the morph target preview window that there are three morph targets available this is because this single morph target is now associated with the character mesh along with the clothing asset meshes as well so you will need to keep in mind that when you are changing the value of the morph target of character then you will also need to do that for the clothing assets as well so that they will be aligned or in sync with each other so that's something which you need to keep in mind so this is how you can see the preview when you are changing the value let me just zoom in a little bit and um, when I'm changing the value then you can see that the bodybuilder morph target is doing its work so let's just now add this character into the level and then change the value of the morph targets using the blueprints so that you can see how you can do that for this I'm going to open up the level blueprint and from the event graph window I'm going to first add this character into the level and to do that I'm going to add the add skeletal mesh component for this test character and then let's also apply the transform for it and I guess the Z should be 130 so that it should be on the floor of the level and then let's also set the X now after this we need to set the values of the morph targets and to do that I'm going to drag out this pin and then set morph target of this character okay so now we need to provide the name of the morph target over here we can get the name by simply um, you know copying it and then pasting it over here and then set the value as one because let's just set it to a maximum value to see the effect now we need to set the values of these two morph targets as well for the clothing assets so i'm just going to copy it and then um, let's just paste it over here and let's copy the names for these two as well and then paste them over here and we also need to provide the reference of the of this test character mesh for this um, function to work on so that should be pretty much it now all we need to do is we need to run this level and then let's just put on some clothes of this character now you can see that the skeletal mesh which we have added has the uh, bodybuilder morph target applied so this is not the original character template mesh which we exported and then subsequently imported we have actually changed this mesh by using the morph targets so that's how you can use them in your unreal engine projects and that's pretty much it for this video guys and i hope that you have understood what i'm trying to explain over here even then if you have any questions or any kind of suggestions then please feel free to use the comments area and i will make sure to reply to all of you till we meet in the next video have a nice day